Zara Booker, a 40-year-old mother of eight, is one of the 500 beneficiaries of this gesture, where 40% of the total number of the targeted beneficiaries are women with special needs just like her. I am indeed very happy for this kind gesture. Just like the former, Maina Mele, a septuagenarian visually impaired, is also here to receive the palliative that is intended to cushion the hardship he and his family are facing. The motive is for people like Zara and Maina, as well as dozens of others, to have something on the table for their families following the removal of fuel subsidy in the country. Let's not be lazy these days. We have to struggle daily to eat. I appreciate the food support. We call upon the government and the non-governmental organizations, well-meaning Nigerians, to come to aid to our people, those who are in need. Following the removal of fuel subsidy, as you can see, going around in the media, His Excellency President Federal Republic of Nigeria, Bola Matinibu, has initiated steps to relieve the suffering of, of, of the public. And this transit down to the state governors. Our amiable governor, His Excellency Governor Labuni, directed us immediately to review our stock's availability and start responding to the flight of the most vulnerable. This is coming amidst setting up of an 18-member committee on palliatives by Governor Buni to, among other things, carry out needs assessment on areas of interventions in the state. Your state government says this is part of a much bigger palliatives initiated to cushion the hardship of its citizens at this critical time. In Damatru, Yunusa Suleiman, NTA News.